This is a iOS theme uh, that copies, you know, iOS for the iPhone. And I just want to do a quick review on it. Uh, many people don't know about this, but um, I provided the icons when it first came out. So I'm kind of a contributor to it. But as you can see here, it works pretty well. Um, I'm just going to prop this up. Um, you can customize your, uh, your own icons. As you can see, the iMovie icon right over here has um, the icon and also has the iMovie um, label on it, which is pretty realistic, makes everything look very nice. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up, and you can see it's just a native Android thing. The way you edit it is by holding it down and then tapping it again. You can change the icon, you can change the title, you can unset the icon, which means the picture you meant custom made, and set this app as, as you can see, that looks very nice. Um, so yeah, let's just do a quick tutorial. Um, everything works exactly like iOS. Um, moving icons, putting icons in a folder. You can see if I wanted downloads, I would just put it like that with iFile. And you can see it went. I don't know if I could take it back out. You can do it that way too, and you can name it. Very nice. Um, we can actually set it. I can hit set as and I can see downloads. See if we can find downloads. There is no downloads. Alright, let's see. Calendar contacts. There's no downloads folder for Iowa. So it's gonna be kinda hard. But you get the point if it had a you know, thing with your But um yeah, it's very nice. Everything works very well. Folders open just fine. You can launch apps very easily. It's just really overall a great theme. Um, you can put items in dock very easily. And it works very fast. It's crazy fast, actually. Um, I have my Google Now Siri. As you can see right there. So I can't focus. There you go. And you can see I can tap it right from there. And then say my voice commands. What time is it? See, it works very well, especially with this theme. You can just launch it right from the home screen. A really nice big icon. Um, so yeah, guys, this is that's it. Um, the settings look very nice. Actually, that comes stock with the apps. Looks like iOS has a nice bouncy effect. You can restart the launcher from here and then do that. It looks very nice. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Nothing else to it, really. You also have your spotlight search where you can do everything. I can play my uh, music right from here. Looks very nice, but you can't really access it once you do that. But, yeah. I'm not sure why that's not working. Let's see. This is a custom thing, my jigger. Let's see if it's working. Remind me later. Alright, there we go. Now it's working. Say I was in maps. That's what that would do. Just for a week recap. Sometimes it doesn't look. I'm not sure why it's doing that. There we go. Now it's working right. Let's see if I was in a game or folder. It would work very well. It's very nice. Not as fast as the actual iPad, but of course it works very well. As you can see it turns this way too. No lag whatsoever. 